welcome back to the crochet crowd as well as my friends over at yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the facial features. We're going to work on eyebrows, the mouth, the noses. There's two different style of noses and all the layers of the eyes. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. So let's take a look at a couple examples before we begin our journey. So as we begin you're going to see that there is a mouth which is right here and that's near the end of the document. The nose here you can see that it flips up because the tissues pop out underneath the nose. So the nose is just kind of floating there. So when you go to join the nose you're going to join to the side of here and then just match the nose and then finish on the side of here so that it continues it can flip up. We're also gonna be doing the eyes today. You can do safety eyes which is what these are and then you could also crochet the eyes as well and we'll cover that as well. I really like safety eyes just I always screw up eyes. <laughs> uh, we're also going to do um, the eyebrows today and that's what's gonna happen. So you'll notice that the noses are different. That's the only difference. The eyes are the same for all of the characters. So uh, Rudolph here has a bigger nose so you can decide what you would like to do with that and again you flip it up and there you have there, uh, there. There's what is referred to as a back plate. So on the underside of this is a little plate that we put so a little round circle and we sew that there so that the fluffing stays. So you'll need a bit of fluffing today and without further ado let's just work uh, sequentially and we're gonna work our way through. So if you're doing the elf we're gonna move on to the eyebrows next. So let's move on to the eyebrows and we're just going to use any color that you want. I think the yellow is kinda cute. Um, I'm also making my elf look like Daniel a little bit so um, he's a bit of a blonde or a bl strawberry blonde he says. Mm -hmm. So anyway we're gonna start off and we're gonna use the smallest hook. So uh, mine's gonna be three and a half. It says four millimeter but my, my uh, tension is a little bit loose so I just reduced my hook for all of this. What's next? So you're just gonna chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then second chain from the hook you're going to single crochet yourself back. And if you can believe it that's all you have to do. So coming all the way to the back. So what I would do if I were you and you were me. When you go to finish this off this is the strand going just make sure it's longer so that you can sew it to the project and then just pull it through. So you'll have to make two of these brows and I would at this time I would take the last strand here and I would throw it through a tapestry needle. So you only have one strand coming from the project so that you can sew it to your character. So if you are sewing to the character start off with the nose first and then add in your eyes and then do the eyebrows last. So I'm just dragging up underneath the stitch work. Make sure I don't change any shapes and then back in the other direction. I'd only go back and forth twice on this one and you're gonna wanna do that so that you have just one strand that is leading that you will use to sew it to the project when you're ready. So you need to do two sets of eyebrows and when you have your character okay once the eyes are in you'll just be able to sew it like that. Okay, so let's move on in this project and let's start with the mouth and this is for the elf as well. Again you can add these to any character if you wish as well. So let's do the mouth. And let's do the mouth now. It's on page number 11 of the document. I'm gonna do mine in blue because you can't see black on camera. So what it is is that you can start off with the magic circle or I've been starting off with just chain two but make sure you really do a tight chain two. So one and two and second chain from the hook I want you to place six single crochets into that first chain. So second chain from the hook. So this is going to be one's already done. It's gonna be a little tight which is what you want. This is two and three, four, five and six. And once you get there technically you would place a stitch marker here but we only have one round to left to go. So I would avoid that just to save time and just count to the sixth one back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm going to do is on the sixth one back you are going to single crochet two times in each stitch and I would count those out as you go. So that was one of two and then go into the next one 
this is put two into that one as well. So two and two and then the next one three and three. The next one four and four. Next one is, is five. If I could just do it. <laughs> And then the last one is six of six. So if you've been going up over top of the straggler then you could just safely cut that. If there's a hole you can use the straggler and just run a tapestry needle just to pull the hole closed. At the end just slip stitch to the beginning and then just leave this aside. A long strand so you can sew it to your project and then pull through. So what I like to do once I've done this you see how it's on the outside there? I just take this straggler right now and I'm not ready to sew it to the project yet. And so you'll want your nose and everything in place first. So what I will do is just take my straggler and just pull it and push it down through the front side to the back. So when you're ready to uh, sew this on the strand is already on the back side and get rid of the middle. As I said if there's a hole in the middle okay just put this in a straggler. Uh, sorry put this in a tapestry needle and just go on the opposite side. So you see where it's coming. So just go on the opposite side and just kind of go through the center and you can pull it shut if you wish. So I wouldn't have technically done it on this one. I'm just demonstrating just so, just in case that happens to you. So just go back and forth and what that will do is it will completely shut the inside and then you can safely cut. Completely. So that is the mouth and that's what we're gonna be doing if you're doing the mouth today. So let's move along in the project. Okay the eyes are all the same for each one of them. So we're gonna start off with the whites of the eyes. We're then going to do the irises and then you can do the black there with yarn but I'm gonna demonstrate it with the uh, with the safety eyes here. If you use safety eyes you won't have to sew this here to the eye either. You can just let it rest. And so let's do this. So we'll start with the whites of the eyes next. For tutorial reasons you'll never see the color white here with the white background so I'm just gonna use a tan color. I'm not gonna use this eye on my project. So what's gonna happen here is that we will need a, a stitch marker when you're ready and you're going to just chain you can do a magic circle or just chain two really tightly and then just circle around second chain from the hook and do six single crochets. We are using the smaller hook as well. Okay, so two and three. Go right up over top of that straggler. This is four and five and six. So if you end up with a hole in the middle just what I demonstrated on the last section there uh, with closing down the mouth you can do that as well. So put a stitch marker. You will need it then as you can continue into round number two. Round number two you can uh, start here or just count back if you're not sure. So just the six one. So one, two, three, four, five and six. So you're just gonna advance to the six one back. So you're gonna do a continuous revolution. So you have no slip stitching especially on something so visual and you want to apply two single crochets in each stitch going all the way back around to the stitch marker. So that was one of two. This is two of two. This is three. This is four. Five. And the stitch marker is the sixth one which is confirmed. And on the very last one that you just did there make sure that you move the stitch marker up so you can see it again in the future and we'll be moving on to round number three in just a moment. In round number three the first one is one single crochet by itself and then the next one has an increase. So it will be two into the next one. So two and two. So the way that I count it in my head is the next one is one by itself and then the next one has two. So I'll say two and two. So one two and two, one two, 
two and two and then one two and two and then finally the next one is one and the last one should be two and two if your counts are right. So two and two and move up that stitch marker we just have one more round to do and then the whites of the eyes would be complete. Round number four the first two in a row so you are by itself so one and two are by itself and then the third one is two into the same one so I say three and three. So we start again so one and two are by themselves and then three and three share the same. So one, two, three. This stuff's really tight. So there's two in that one. So then one, two, three and three and one, two, three and, and three and then finally one, two and the third is the last one. So three and three and what you're just going to do is advance one more stitch to slip stitch to pull that closed. So then you're going to leave a long strand and pull that through. So like I did before with the other projects um, I would, I think it's in your interest to do it, take your straggler and just prepare for that yarn to be ready to be sewn later and then just advance it down. So just kind of pull through and push it through to the back side so it's not on the edge. So when you start it's already on the, on the outs, uh, it's already on the back ready to go and you can pull out your stitch markers. So this would be the, uh, the whites of the eyes if they were white. <laughs> so you're gonna get rid of your middle one as well and then we're gonna move on and we're gonna do the irises next. So the next part is going to be the irises which will be the eye color. So in my case I made these blue because Daniel's got blue eyes and Santa Claus for me will be brown eyes because I got brown eyes. So I'm gonna be Santa, Daniel will be the elf. So we'll move on to the uh, irises next. So let's do the irises next. There's two rounds complete. So you're just going to chain two or you can do a magic ring. It, uh, it's up to you. Um, I wouldn't do any stitch markers because it's pretty easy. So you're going to put in six single crochets, second chain from the hook if you're doing the chain version. And you do want the center to be a, a little bit open if you're using safety eyes as well. So that was one, two, three, four and then five and six. Now the next round really quite simple is going to be just reaching to the next one and you're going to put two single crochets in each of the stitches for six stitches around. So again like I would count so one and then two and then go to the next one. So that's technically number one. So this is two and two. Sorry it's a little tight today. Amigurumi looks really good but you have to be tight with your stitches. And then finally three and three, four, four, five and five and six. And six and then slip stitch it to the beginning or to the like the, the first one just to flatten it off. Now here's the trick. If you were going to use safety eyes um, what you can do is just kind of pull through and leave it off to the side and see how there's a hole in the middle? Keep that hole. So off camera here I have what is called the safety eyes but I don't put the backs on yet. So if you don't wanna do the black pupils. So the pupils, well, all the pupils are is literally just um, um, chain two and then five single crochets into the center and then that's it. You just join it. So if you're gonna use safety eyes they look like this and there's a washer that goes on the back of these and so you can just stick it through the center of that opening 
and then suddenly you have an eye. So the trick then would be to make sure that when you fasten off, so I put the eye in first, but I don't put the backing on yet. And all I'm just going to do is just drag this yarn to the back side. So if you have this, just make sure it looks right. And then just drag it through uh, three times in the back side. And when you're ready, all you just need to do, let me just show you the washer. I'm not gonna snap it because once you put these on, these are permanent. There's a reason why they're called safety eyes. <laughs> so they look like little washers. So when you get the, the whites of the eyes, you're just going to favor one side. So don't go in the center because then the character looks like it's just staring into space. But just kind of favor like an edge side and make sure that the, the irises itself don't fall outside of the eye but just stay tucked close to it. And I think it's around round number two. And all I'm just doing is forcing that washer through some stitch work so that it pops out to the back. You might have to be aggressive with it. Okay. So there is an eye there. When this is ready and you're happy with it, you're gonna take the washer and put it over top and you were just going to squeeze it and this will lock permanently into position. So once you lock this, that's it, it's game over. So I don't wanna lock it because these things are valuable in the sense that I don't wanna waste them. So that's what you would do with these particular ones. So if you wanted to do the pupils, let's just quickly talk about that next. So if you wanna crochet the actual pupils itself instead of using these safety eyes, all you just need to do is chain two or you can use a magic ring and then just put five single crochets, second chain from the hook and then slip stitch it at, with the first one and then fasten off and then you'll end up with the black circle like this and then you'll have to sew this black circle then to the iris and then the iris to the eye. The advantage of these safety eyes is that I just put it through. I don't have to sew anything other than just sticking it through, throwing on the washer on the back and then it's good to go and then leaving this strand here. I can then just put it to the box whenever I'm ready. So let me just zoom you out a bit. And so after the nose is in, you just wanna put your eye in and you can see that the just changing the positioning of the eyes will change the expression. Also the eyebrows will as well. So the mouth actually makes it kind of look happy and how positioned the eyes are as well. So the further the eyes out um, and the eyebrows and the mouth, it's all depending on the expression. So that would be how you would do the pupils if that's something that is of interest to you and just sew it all together as one. So let's move along and we're going to start with the noses next. So let's talk about noses. We are going to do the elf and the Santa version. It is the same size and when you go to sew these up, you're going to be sewing it to the actual top of the opening here. So you'll include the side and, and follow the nose around. So when you follow it, you're just following it around the edge so that the nose can lift up so you can serve your tissues. So you're going to begin, you'll need a stitch marker and we're using the smaller size hook and you can use any color that you wish, even skin tone, whatever color you chose. And you're going to either magic ring it or just chain two like I have been and in the second chain from the hook, I want you to apply, if you're doing the chain version, six single crochets. Keep nice and tight. If you don't, then you can just uh, put it together. Um, just drag that beginning strand through the middle of the circle to close it down if you have to. So I would just, see that hole is a little bit too big for me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have my six. So I'm gonna place my stitch marker in first. See there's no point running perfect tutorials because if you do perfect tutorials then people don't learn <laughs> including myself. So you're gonna turn it over to the back side and I wanna close down that center so that it, you can't see it because then it looks like you have a hole in the center or the front of your nose you'll wanna do this with the reindeer as well. So just dragging the stitch work across. Don't mess with the outside edging, just stay within the inside and just pull it through. I'd recommend you at least go twice across. Third time is best though.
and then once you're happy with that you can just safely just cut that when you're ready and then carry on. So that should close off the center of your nose which it did. Okay, so let's move along and we are now going to move on to round number two. Round number two, each one of the six will have two single crochets in it. So I'm going to speed up tutorial wise. So I'm just gonna give you the instruction and then you do it. So there's going to be two in each. So there's six sets of two by the time you get back to the stitch marker. At this point in the tutorial you already know how the stitch markers are working. So just do that and then I'll see you back here as we begin row number three in just a moment. I'm all the way back around. Stitch marker is moved. So the next one is going to be one by itself and then the next one has two in it. So one, uh, two and two. So like I've been counting before so it's gonna be one into the next one and then the next one has two and two. Okay, so please do this all the way around for round number three. Stitch marker is moved. Let's do for round four. So the first two are going to be by itself. So one and two are on their own and then two into the next one and that's the repeat for this round. So one and two by itself and then uh, the third one has two into the same one. So please do that all the way around. This is the final growth and this is round number four. So round number four is complete. Rounds number five, six, seven, eight, and nine, that's a total of five rounds, are going to be each one single crochet in each stitch. Move the stitch marker as you progress and I need you to do these five rounds on your own and I will see you back here and we'll be finishing up the end of round number ten or the end of round number nine and then we'll start round number ten which will be the final for this size of nose. So it's one single crochet in each of the stitches for five rounds and I'll see you at the end of those five rounds now. So I finished up to round number nine and so the last round we're going to do a decrease. So we're gonna single crochet the first two and then we'll do a decrease. So we're just gonna go in, pull through, hold, go to the next one, in, pull through, hold, pull through two. Or sorry, pull through all three loops. So that just became two, became one stitch. So it's one and two by itself and then the next stitches are together. So you're gonna do this all the way around and this will conclude the size of nose. So each of the noses have a back plate that is um, keeping the stuffing contained within inside the nose. Now I'm actually physically doing this one for the Santa so I did the other one in advance so I knew how to do it. So I'm just working my way all the way around. So if my stitch counting is right, the last two which is just happening is two together. Now to fasten off you're just going to go to the next stitch and just slip stitch through. So you'll take out your stitch markers, leave an extra long tail because you use that to sew it to the actual box itself or to the box cover and then you're just gonna pull through. And then take out your stitch marker and so the elf size nose is done and all you just need to do is now apply stuffing which I will do in just a few moments but I wanna show you the back plate first. So we're gonna do the back plate which is the same for both. So let's show you how to do the back plate. It's the same for both. Both the reindeer and the Santa noses end up at the same uh, diameter and the back plate is just going to fit flush to this here. So instead of coming into a complete circle we have a flat side. So to do the back plate Nice and simple is just chain two or do your magic ring. This is not uh, seen this uh, particular item. So you're just gonna apply six single crochets, second chain from the hook. You are going to want to use a stitch marker as well. And on the sixth one you're going to apply that stitch marker. and that will conclude the first round. Let's uh, move on to round number two in just a moment. Round number two starting in the sixth one back if you can't see it it's right here and you are going to apply two single crochets in each of the stitches all the way back to the stitch marker again. So there will be six sets of two. Please do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. On the third and final round the next one is one by itself and then two into the same stitch one and two. So then one by itself and then two into the next stitch. Please do this all the way around. This is the final round number three and then we're gonna get our stuffing ready and sew this directly to the nose in 
uh, in just a moment. So coming into the last stitch I can see with the stitch marker that it is and then you're just going to sl slip stitch to the next one and pull through and through. Okay, so we're gonna keep a long tail in there because you are going to sew it. So whatever this back, uh, the nose color is, make sure the back plate is the same color. And you're gonna remove your stitch markers and any long yarn that you have. I need you to grab some stuffing and we're going to stuff the nose firm enough so that the nose will bounce back if you touch it but not overly stuffed so that it's exploding with fluffing either. So let's uh, stuff our nose. So take in some stuffing and now's the time to stuff the nose and you have to determine on a feel factor if you think it's gonna be strong enough or not. You don't want the stuffing to be bleeding. So if you touch the nose it does bounce back. Now this is the plate. Put the plate into your tapestry needle. And usually when I go to sew I and I'm right handed I will sew so that this is on the right side. If you're left you may wanna go the other way. So I wanna keep that in mind. So I wanna concentrate on just the, the, the front loop only when I'm going in. And I'm gonna pull the plate into the project and turn the plate so that it, the good side's facing out. So matching the stitch work. So just say in the back loop and this one's gonna be the front loop on this side. Okay, so you just come across so the back loop there and then the front loop on this side and this will keep it nice and flush. And I want you to circle all the way around making sure that it's firm enough for your stuffing and then I will see you back here in just a moment. When you get all the way around this just stay within the inside of this so that the straggler doesn't fall out and just go back and forth a total of three times. So this underside will be inside. What I'm going to do next is that I am going to literally demonstrate, this is a Santa's nose for real. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to sew the nose onto your box and the rest of the stuff you can sew on your own on how you would like to do it. Now I left the box in behind when I sewed everything on but if it's easier for you to remove the box that's up to you. You may wanna pin your stuff to the box as well to get orientation. I didn't but you can do that if you wish. So let's uh, get my box up ready and let's just show you how to sew the nose onto your box. So let's sew the nose on. So both the Rudolph and the, the reindeer sorry and this will work. So right where this is ending I want you to come into the side of the one side here and then loop back in. Just kind of peel it and kind of concentrate on that plate area and coming in and pull everything tight. So all you're just going to do is follow the next stitch work here and then just grab another section of the next kind of stitch work that you see here and you're going to just sew across the top of this capturing the nose at the same time. Now originally I didn't think this was gonna work but um, so the way that it works is that this flat circle, or the, sorry this flat edge ends up kind of forming the circumference of the, of the nose. So we wanna concentrate and only stick to this side. So we leave the bottom open so the tissues can come up underneath the nose. Now originally when I did the nose on the, the elf is that I stopped at the top of the line and I realized that I had to come and do the side as well. So the side kind of closes it down a little bit. So just come to the side and to the side here. Okay, pull everything nice and tight and then just go back and forth a total of three times. So once, just shape everything. and 
three times. So now this, the nose is now permanently sewn into position. So you can lift the nose and out pops the tissue so it's underneath. So when it's coming down on the side here you see that when it does sit down here you won't just, um, it actually does form the circle. So the two eyes will then be positioned uh, and use the nose as the, the center focal point and so sew your eyes into position and then if you're gonna do eyebrows you can if you want even for Santa and then um, the Santa will actually have a beard and uh, mustache and etc. that will be applied later on. So this will be how you do the nose and I'm going to demonstrate the Rudolph uh, nose in just a moment. So let's begin and we're going to start with the reindeer nose and we're just going to chain two or you could do a magic ring and then in the center um, you're just gonna put in Sorry, the second chain for the hook, six single crochets in a row. So you can see the commonality between all of them, right? So again, if the nose is open too much like it was, like I showed before, just close it with using that center strand. So once you have your six in there, just put in your stitch marker and this will conclude off starting and the first round. Let's move on to round number two. So I'm going to be relatively quick with this area because we've already done it before and let's demonstrate round number two. Round number two, each stitch, if you're not sure, just count back to the sixth one from the hook. You'll find it, it's right there and you're going to apply two single crochets in each of the stitches going all the way around so there will be six groups of two. Please do this and move up your stitch marker and let's do round number three in just a second. Round number three, one single crochet in the first one and then two into the next. That's the repeat pattern for this uh, round, round number three. So one into the next and then two into the next one after that. So please do this all the way around. This is round number three. Round number four, here's the repeat. There's gonna be two in a row that are by themselves. So one and two by itself and then the third one will be two into the same one. So the repeat for round number four is two by itself and then two into the next one after that. Please do this all the way around. Round number five, another increase round. You'll notice that the original nose Santa and now this is, doesn't exist in this round. So it should be three by itself and then two into the next. Three by itself, two into the next. Please do this all the way around. Round number five. Just finish up round number five. Round number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five rounds in a row are just one single crochet in each. So please do this all the way around and uh, I will see you at the end of round number ten. So it's just uh, five rounds of single crochet and just move those stitch markers up and mark it off on your list as you go. So just finishing up round number 10. So six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 were all single crochet. Now we're gonna decrease to create the indentation towards the face. So what you need to do is that you're going to single crochet the first three. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to do a two together over the next two. So over the next sti uh, two stitches. So pull through and then go to the next one, pull through and then pull through all three. So that's the repeat pattern for this entire round. So the next three are by themselves. So one, two and three and then the next two are together. So pull through and pull through and then pull through all three loops. Do this all the way around. This is round number 11. Coming up to the end of round number 11, if your counts are right, the last two stitches are two together and you'll move up that stitch marker and we'll move on to round number 12 in just a moment. So we're gonna get a little bit smaller for round number 12 once again. So next, this time the, the first two are by themselves. So one and two and then the next two stitches come together. So pull through and then go to the next one, pull through, pull through all three loops. So the repeat pattern is one and two is by itself and then the next two are together. Please do this all the way around for round number 12. We just have one more round to go. Coming up to the end of number 12, the last two are together and that will finish that and you have one more round to do. Number lucky number 13. Let's do number 13 now. Number 13, we're just gonna stabilize the growth and just put in one single crochet in each all the way around and this is the final round. I'll meet you at the end of this and then we'll just quickly talk and that's it for this particular part of the project. So coming up all the way around 
and then that's the last one. So I wanna slip stitch to the next one and then that's it. So leave a long tail and you wanna pull out your stitch marker and then you're going to wanna stuff this. So the back of these noses have the back plate which we've already demonstrated already in this video and so that will be able to show you how to do that. So um, this is it and uh, this is how you do this nose. So just fasten this off, leave it long enough so you can sew to the face and then you're good to go. And then stuff it and then put that back plate on and then you're ready to go.